Hey everyone, as you can tell by the title of this video, and if you were up to date on a Change of Heart podcast, then you would know that we got merch. I'm so excited to finally be able to share with you all Becoming Her Apparel because it is a long overdue and I'm truly excited about what this brand means, what this whole apparel line is about. Because listen, this all started out, we're just going to do a little, little merch for the podcast and then it's turned into a whole other thing. And so as I was thinking about what did I want to name our shirts, our mugs, all of these different things, the name that came to mind was Becoming Her. And I started to think about how the conflict, the struggle that a lot of women face is this journey of becoming. And a lot of times we get stuck in this space of I'm not where I want to be, but we don't take the time to acknowledge that I'm also not where I used to be. And so I wanted to create this brand for the women who are becoming because that's what we talked about all of season two on the podcast. And I just truly believe that we are in a season of becoming the women who God truly created us to be. And I wanted you all to have a reminder as you are on your journey to becoming that the becoming version of you, the version that you are trying to attain, that is not the only acceptable version of you, okay? Let, let's be clear about that. The version of you right now, that is acceptable as well. And as you are becoming, you are healed, you are evolved, you become resilient. Y'all, y'all catch that her there? Listen, as you are becoming, you take all of the necessary lessons, you take everything that is composed of your journey to become the woman who you were always created to be. And listen, catch this y'all. While you're on this journey of becoming, you have to understand that you're not just becoming her, you are her. The woman that you are becoming, you are her. It's already on the inside of you. And so I wanted to give you all some merch, some things to remind you that while you are on this journey, that it's not just about getting to the other side. It's not just about getting to the space where you feel like you've arrived. It's about the process as well. It's about the journey of becoming. And so y'all know all throughout season two of the podcast, I have preached, be whole, be healed, and be authentic. And listen, it's still the same. And I thought that it would be great for you all to have something that you can be reminded of this, that you are on your journey of wholeness, of healing, authenticity, and you are still amazing and killing it, the bomb.com, all of that and a bag of chips while you're on your way there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these sizes. And oh, y'all know we got the coffee mugs too, okay? So this is exhibit A of what we'll have available on the store. But let's go ahead and get into these shirts. So okay. I am currently wearing the unisex shirt in a size extra small. And listen, your girl been working out, okay? And so extra small is really not my size anymore. I'm typically wearing smalls these days, sometimes a medium depending on the day. So I would say that the unisex shirt runs just a tad bit on the larger side. Be aware that in this extra small, this fits me a little bit more like the fitted version. However, a regular small size would fit me like a, a looser version, a looser shirt. This I have wrapped, I have the sleeves rolled up, but as you can see here, the sleeves are going to come maybe about mid-arm length. And then the shirt itself, I have it folded a little bit. The shirts are on like the longer side. So y'all see that? Y'all get this? Y'all get into it? Okay. So this is a unisex shirt. And like I said, this is in a size extra small, but they do run a little bit on the larger side for the unisex. All right. So this is the women's fitted tee. And as you can see here, it is fitted. It definitely has like the curvature. It is definitely a little bit tighter than the unisex shirt. And as you can see, the sleeves are on the shorter side. It's definitely a more, in my opinion, a more flattering fitted type of shirt. And so this I am wearing in a size small. I would strongly encourage that if you are someone who, if you like the look of the fitted shirt, but you don't necessarily want it to be super tight on you, you might want to go a size up because this runs a little bit smaller. I would say that it runs... For a small, this runs a little bit small on me. Like my small shirts are a little bit looser than this. So just keep in mind that it does run a little bit on the small side if you're looking for getting the fitted shirt. Just keep that in mind. But if you like the fitted look and you want it to be, you know, close up on you, cuddling you, go with your normal size and I think that you'll still like it. 
Now, this is the shirt also in white. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I got my makeup on it, so don't judge me, judge your mama, okay? That's my business, <laughs> but this is it in white. And this is a size small as well. And this is what I wore for my photo shoot in it. So I'll put a picture somewhere here so you can see what it looks like the white on. But I definitely love the fit of this. This one is my favorite one, but you have to kind of figure out like what you want it to look like for your body. So the unisex one may be a better choice for you. But for the fitted one, we have it in black and white. And then for the unisex shirt, we have the signature color, which is the black and white with the red authentic. But we do also have several other colors that are a little bit brighter, fun for the summertime. So make sure that you check those out as well. And as you all can see, in case you haven't noticed with the whole be whole, be healed, be authentic, y'all notice that the authentic is the only word that's outside the box. Come on now. Did y'all catch it? Did y'all catch that word right there? The authentic word is the only one that's outside of the box because it is your reminder that as you are becoming your authentic self, it's okay to go outside the lines. It is okay to go outside the box. Sometimes it's going to press you outside your comfort zone. It's not going to look like the rest of the words. Come on, somebody. It ain't going to look like what everybody else is doing. But as you become your authentic self, as you branch out, as you jump out, that is where growth takes place. That's where healing takes place. That is where wholeness takes place and that's what I want for my girls, okay? I love to see it, all right? So I am so excited that you all finally know about merch. Make sure that you also check out our mugs. This is the only mug that I have, but the, the mugs do come in two different skin tone complexions. As I mentioned in the podcast, we, we want to budget, y'all. Please, please don't come for me when it comes to diversity. I'm doing the best that I can. But there are two different shades. And listen, if y'all buy it, then we will increase the shades, okay? But please don't come for me. I really am trying to be inclusive, but also understand we just starting out and we got a budget. We are not, we not fancy, okay? But this is the mug and this is my girl. And I'm so excited that you all finally have the opportunity to get it. So make sure, listen, do me a favor. If you purchase a shirt, if you purchase a mug, Make sure that you take a picture of it. Tag me in it on Instagram at Angel C. Walston. Do your hashtag whole healed authentic because I want to see you. I want to repost you. And yeah, I'm so excited about it. I hope you all enjoy your merch. Let me know that you get it. Have an amazing week and I'll see you all later.